As your everybody's aware, you know, with the downturn in the economy, particularly with the oil prices, it's been a challenge for all of the sectors to, you know, to work towards the market. Um, we are seeing more of the owners that are demanding more and really want wages and benefits and everything else reduced. So it's a very, very competitive market out there. Right. Yeah, definitely, there's some definitely upticks happening. Uh, you know, obviously we've got some recovery in the oil prices. Uh, the Between the unionized contractors and their uh, union counterparts, we've are been addressing some of the needs to become more competitive and to meet some of the needs of the owners. Oh, well, there's lots of benefits. I mean, obviously, um, the largest ones are to deal with pension, uh, the health and welfare plans, uh, the uh, benefits are associated with the the dental program, uh, you know, with the RSAP program, there's the, the drug and alcohol uh, ability for individuals to that may be having issues with uh, drug and alcohol for assessments, rehabilitation, and then putting them back to work. It, it's a bit of both, um, depending on the uh, type of individual and what their capabilities are. For example, power linemen are in a short supply right now. Uh, there's, as there always has been, there's a shortage of apprentices. Uh, you know, as the uh, uh, market dried up, a uh, number of apprentices you know, quit the trade, so there's still a shortage of apprentices out there. So there's work available for apprentices. Um, a little harder for journeymen, there's a longer time to take a call right now. Right. But individuals that are going, willing to go work out of town and uh, under some different way structures are you know, still finding ability to go to work. So obviously from an apprentice standpoint, um, they're, they're both very well, you know, good organizations. Uh, whether you're working on the open shop side or the clack side or the union side, you know that your number one priority is to get your journeyman ticket. Okay, uh, there's benefits for working in the union. Obviously, within three months you're into a very good, viable health and welfare plan. Uh, once you've been in the trade for a couple of years, uh, you start contributing into a pension plan that that you can build up and you know, gives you a, a good method for your retirement. Um, I think 2018 is going to be a fairly challenging thing. Um, you know, with our counterparts, uh, we're looking at a lot of initiatives to uh, work towards the, um, you know, being twice as productive by 2020. So we want to be twice as safe and 20 twice as productive by 2020. Looking at different initiatives uh, for additional training for the workforce, uh, both for the workforce, for the supervision, uh, additional courses that they may take to help diversify themselves. So uh, diversifying into um, communications, say fiber optics, uh, could be more into quality control. Uh, so uh, from individuals that are look at it, get their instrument ticket as opposed to just an electrical ticket, so they become a dual ticketed, so they can do more than one, one job at any given time.